the funny cars of dirt. Friday night, super late model main event at the short track. We're underway. Boy, they just barrel into turn number one. Who's going to come out the leader? Looks like Austin Horton, but zoom on the outside is the nine of Corey Hedgecock. Super late models pound on the ground coming out of turn number four. Horton and Hedgecock side by each. Going into turn number one as these late models are slinging some red Alabama clay. Hedgecock, big run on the outside to the inside, outside of Horton. Hedgecock is your leader trying to go for a double tonight. Horton down to second. Riley Hickman in third. Dylan Tidmore in fourth. Rounding out the top five is Donald McIntosh. So down the back straightaway, these super late models pound the ground. Hedgecock showing some nice speed and some good handling. We're working on lap number three. As the field stretches out nicely, we're green. We're working on lap number four. Four in, 26 more to go here at the Talladega Short Track, the home of the best weekly super late model racing in the state of Alabama. Your top five, Corey Hedgecock in the number nine machine, showing the early lead. The number 16 of Austin Horton in that second spot. Riley Hickman in third. Dylan Tidmore in fourth and McIntosh in fifth. Ronnie Johnson, 85, just outside the top five. He's running the sixth spot. And here comes Jason Hyde in that 21 machine. He started in the 11th position, and he's up to seven. Interesting, while the other classes were using a high-low groove, right now a majority of the late models who are running up front are using the bottom portion of the track. You can see the two black roofs in turns one and two, as well as three and four. Now Hedgecock is going to have his hands full at about lap number nine, because he's going to have to deal with cars racing hard in the back. There's some good battles, like between 13th, 14th, and 15th, but man, oh man, watching Hedgecock, man, he is just flat working him over right now with Horton in second, Hickman in third, Tidmore and McIntosh. Ronnie Johnson still in sixth, Jason Hyatt in seventh, but Hyatt's putting a little heat on Ronnie Johnson. Let's watch the leader. Where are you going to go? He goes to the outside of Cochran. Clears him cleanly. Hedgecock using the high portion of the track, slapping them Hoosiers on the stop stuff, hiked up on the bars, getting it on, baby, on a Friday night. Talladega short track, super late models. Hedgecock now is trying to put work over the number 10 of Brandon Roberts. Trying to clear Roberts on the outside. He's got a number of cars. Arca driver Brett Holmes is going to be next. Horton is starting to gain just a little bit of ground while Hedgecock deals with the traffic. He's going to need a lot of traffic to be able to catch Hedgecock down the back straight away they go. Hedgecock glued to the bottom, having a little bit of troubles with the 21. We're working on lap number 13. We're lap number 13. We're approaching the halfway mark. Now this 30 lap super late model van. Hedgecock switches his line. Tell me that car ain't dialed. He can go low and he can go high. Same with Horton. Horton Knight now is glued to the bottom. Horton made up a lot of real estate on Hedgecock through that traffic and it turns one and two. But it's going to get real messy at the halfway mark here. Past it at lap number 15. Is there a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars ahead of your leaders? Horton to the outside, making a bid for the lead against Hedgecock. Horton to the outside, that blue and white number 16 takes the lead on lap 16. Second lead change in this 30 lap affair. It's going to be getting good here at the short track. Nice and racy service, multi groove. There's cars all over this racetrack racing, ladies and gentlemen. On this third mile high bank, 18 degree red clay oval here in central Alabama. Horton stretches his lead. Oh, he had to burp the throttles. We had a car slowing on the back straight away. Hedgecock gathers a little bit of real estate. Hedgecock now glued to the bottom. Horton could go anywhere. He's going to go up high. He's got track champion Dallas Cooper ahead of him, as well as Terry Smith and another track champion, Tim Rozell. Three Talladega front runners about ready to get worked over by the driver of the number 16. Into turn number one. 
Oh my, near three wide coming out of turn number two. Three TST regulars trying to hold off the invader in the 16th. Horton tried to stick it in the middle, thought better of it. He's trying the outside of the 99 of Terry Smith. We have been caution free, working on lap number 20. Hedgecock with a big run down the back straightaway as Horton had to tiptoe around Terry Smith. Coming out of turn number four, Horton's going to set his sights on five time track champion Tim Rozell and reigning track champion Dallas Cooper. Hedgecock closes within two cars of Austin Horton. We're working on lap number 21, Blackjack. Hedgecock to the inside, coming out of turn number four. Here's where it's going to get good, ladies and gentlemen. They're slicing, they're dicing, and they're trying to work over. The car's racing hard in the back. Those are two good cars from Talladega Hortons. Oh, he puts it in the middle. A brave move. No harm, no foul, and Horton makes it work. He went downstairs. He got around Rousel. Now he's trying to get around track champion Dallas Cooper in turn number three. Horton downstairs. Hedgecock is losing a little ground. Little bit of contact between Horton and Cooper. They get away cleanly coming out of turn number two. Under the flag stand when they come, it'll be 25 laps complete. Five more laps left to go. Rarely do you see Dallas Cooper or Tim Rosso go a lap down and Terry Smith. Time is running short as Austin Horton's trying to go to the inside of the number one of Seawright. Horton to the inside. Boy, he's starting to knock down some lappers right now. He's approaching six starting. Darren Polston in the double zero. Horton drifts up, but he's got that late model working very nicely. In the back, down the, excuse me, down the back straight away into turn number three. Once again, Horton wants to be the baloney in the sandwich. Kind of a brave move. With two sticks showing, 28 in, 30 to go. We've been green for 28 laps of late model action. Horton to the inside of the number 27 of Cochran. Sets sights on him and Polston. The white flag has been displayed. One more lap, a half a lap. Horton. Up in the high side, coming out of turn four, your super late model winner, Austin Horton in the 16. Corey Hedgecock will grab second, Riley Hickman third, Donald McIntosh fourth, and Jason Hyatt rounds out the top five.